The course of Islamic history as we know it today pivoted on the outcomes of a series of decisive battles. These battles were not just about military prowess, they were about faith, resilience, strategy, and the unwavering commitment to a cause. From the Battle of Badr in the year 624, where the Muslims of Medina marked their first major victory against the Quraysh of Mecca, to the Battle of Yarmouk in 636, where a decisive triumph contributed to the Islamic conquest of Syria, these were defining moments that shaped the trajectory of Islamic civilization. Each battle tells a story, a tale of challenge and triumph, setback and resilience, diplomacy and strategy. They are more than just historical events, they are the milestones of an enduring legacy. So let's delve into these pivotal moments, starting with the Battle of Badr. The year was 624 CE. The Muslims of Medina faced their adversaries, the Quraysh of Mecca, in what would become a defining moment. This was the Battle of Badr, a confrontation born out of a long-standing conflict, and it was here that the Muslims would make their stand. The Quraysh, a powerful tribe from Mecca, had been a thorn in the Muslim side for years. However, this battle was different, the stakes were high, and the Muslims knew they had to win. Against all odds, the Muslims, who were significantly outnumbered, managed to defeat the Quraysh. This victory was more than just a military success. It was a symbol of resilience, a beacon of hope, and a testament to their faith. This was the moment the tide began to turn in favor of the Muslims. The Battle of Badr marked the Muslims' first significant victory, a turning point that set the stage for the battles to follow. A year later, the Battle of Yuhud unfolded. This was a follow-up to the Battle of Badr, a sequel to the earlier success of the Muslims, yet the story took a different turn this time. The Muslims, under the leadership of Prophet Muhammad, faced a setback against the Quraysh of Mecca. The battle was fierce and intense, with the scales of victory tilting in favor of the Quraysh. Despite the setback, the Battle of Uhud holds a significant place in Islamic history. It served as a stark reminder that victories are not always guaranteed, and setbacks are often a part of the journey to success. It was a test of faith and resilience for the Muslim community, a test they faced with courage and determination. The Battle of Uhud was not just a battle, it was a lesson in perseverance and resilience. It demonstrated the strength of the Muslim community, their ability to face challenges and their unwavering faith. Though a setback, the Battle of Uhud showcased the resilience of the Muslim community. In 627 CE, the Muslims faced a coalition of Arab tribes in the Battle of the Trench. This was a time of intense trial for the Muslims of Medina, who found themselves besieged by an alliance of Arab tribes led by the Quraysh of Mecca. The odds were stacked against them, but their leader, Prophet Muhammad, had a strategic ace up his sleeve. He proposed a novel defense, dig a trench. This trench around Medina served as a formidable barrier, preventing the enemy cavalry from launching successful attacks. The coalition, unprepared for this unconventional defense, laid siege to the city. Yet the siege proved unsuccessful. The Muslims, despite being outnumbered, managed to hold their ground, demonstrating great resilience and strategic prowess. The Battle of the Trench marked a key moment in Islamic history, showcasing the Muslims' ability to defend their city against a larger force. With strategic defense, the Muslims successfully protected Medina, demonstrating their evolving military acumen. The year 630 marked a pivotal moment, the peaceful conquest of Mecca. It was a time of change and transformation as Prophet Muhammad, who had earlier fled Mecca due to persecution, returned to his birthplace. But this time, he did not come as a refugee. He returned as a leader at the helm of a 10,000-strong force. Yet, despite this show of strength, Prophet Muhammad chose the path of peace. He forgave the Meccans for their past transgressions, focusing rather on unity and reconciliation. The idols in the Kaaba were removed, marking the end of polytheism in the city, and the call to prayer echoed in the air. The Meccans, witnessing this display of magnanimity and the transformative power of Islam, embraced the faith. This bloodless victory was a turning point, with Mecca opening its arms to Islam. Post-Mecca, the Muslims faced challenges at Hunayn and later at Ta'if. The Battle of Hunayn unfolded as the Muslims, fresh from the peaceful conquest of Mecca, found themselves in conflict with the Hawazin tribe. The Hawazin, known for their warrior tradition, posed a considerable challenge, Yet the Muslims emerged victorious, a testament to their evolving strength and strategic prowess. 
Following the victory at Hunain, the Muslims moved towards Taif, a city that had long resisted Islamic influence. The conquest of Taif was an uphill battle. The city was well fortified and its inhabitants were determined to resist. Despite the stiff resistance, the Muslims secured Taif, not through sheer force but through a blend of diplomacy and strategic warfare. These victories at Hunain and Taif were significant milestones in the early Islamic era. They demonstrated the resilience, resourcefulness, and growing strength of the Muslim community. In essence, they were a testament to the expanding sphere of Islamic influence. These victories showcased the growing strength and influence of the Muslim community. Later the same year, the Muslims prepared for a potential Byzantine threat in the Battle of Tabuk. The Battle of Tabuk, however, was a battle that never took place. The Muslims, led by Prophet Muhammad, marched towards Tabuk in response to perceived threats from the Byzantine Empire. It was a show of strength and unity, with an army of around 30,000 strong, the largest Muslim force assembled to that point. Despite the arduous journey and harsh desert conditions, the Byzantine forces never materialized. This absence of a physical battle didn't diminish the significance of the event. The expedition to Tabuk demonstrated the strategic foresight and diplomatic acumen of Prophet Muhammad. It served as a clear message to neighboring kingdoms about the strength and unity of the Muslim community. Though no actual battle occurred, it highlighted the importance of strategic and diplomatic considerations. After Prophet Muhammad's death in 632 CE, the Battle of Yamama unfolded as part of the Ridda Wars. This battle erupted amidst the political and religious turbulence that was sweeping through the Arabian Peninsula. The Ridda Wars, also known as the Apostasy Wars, were a series of military campaigns launched by Caliph Abu Bakr against rebel Arabian tribes during the Islamic expansion. The Battle of Yamama was a major engagement in these wars taking place between the forces of the newly formed Islamic State and the rebellious tribes led by Musailima, who had proclaimed himself a prophet. The repercussions of this battle were far-reaching. It underscored the challenges of maintaining unity and order in a rapidly expanding Islamic community. The battle also had a significant impact on the preservation of the Quran. The heavy loss of Quran memorizers in battle led to the decision to compile the Quran into a single book. This battle was a complex historical episode involving political and religious dynamics. The years 636 CE witnessed two significant battles, Qadisiyah and Yarmouk. The Battle of Qadisiyah took place between the Muslims and the Sasanian Empire, a major powerhouse in the region. The conflict was not just a battle of swords, but a clash of two civilizations, two ways of life. The stakes were high and the Muslims were determined to prevail. The Muslim forces, despite being outnumbered, showed immense courage and strategic brilliance. They managed to defeat the Sasanian Empire, a victory that marked a turning point in the history of the region. The win at Qadisiya opened the doors to the heartlands of Persia, paving the way for the spread of Islam in these areas. Now, let's shift our attention to the Battle of Yarmouk which was a crucial confrontation in the Arab-Byzantine Wars. This was a decisive battle that pitted the Muslim forces against the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantines had a reputation of being a formidable force, boasting a well-equipped army and a history of military successes. However, they were about to face a determined and resilient Muslim army. The Battle of Yarmouk was a true test of resolve for the Muslims. Despite being outnumbered, they managed to triumph. The victory was not just a military achievement but a psychological boost for the Muslims. It demonstrated their ability to overcome challenging odds and reinforced their belief in their cause. The aftermath of the Battle of Yarmouk was significant. The Muslim triumph led to the Islamic conquest of Syria, a strategic and cultural gain for the Muslim community. The victory at Yarmouk, much like the one at Qadisiyah, was more than just a military success. It was a catalyst that accelerated the growth of the Islamic civilization. These victories not only reshaped the region, but also etched a lasting impact on the contours of Islamic history. From Badr to Yarmouk, these battles were more than just military conflicts. They symbolize a journey, a progression of a community from its nascent stages in Medina, to becoming a formidable force in the Arabian Peninsula and beyond. Each conflict, each victory and setback had a part to play in shaping the narrative. The Battle of Badr marked the first major victory, whereas the Battle of Yuhud demonstrated resilience in the face of challenges. The strategic brilliance was evident in the Battle of the Trench, and the diplomatic finesse shone through during the conquest of Mecca. 
The battles of Hunain, Taif, Tabuk, and Yamama further showcased the evolving strength and strategic acumen of the Muslim community. The Battle of Qadisiyah and the decisive Battle of Yarmouk were instrumental in shaping the future of the region. As we reflect on the historical battles and conflicts within the first 10 years of Islam, one can't help but wonder, what do you think were the underlying reasons behind these wars? How do you perceive the factors that led to such a tumultuous period in history? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's engage in a respectful and open conversation about the complexities of this era. Your insights contribute to a richer understanding of our shared history. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to hearing your perspectives.